Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it, we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers so help me out there and let's go guys. So the F14 has been just announced and with that the first question that everybody asks is, is there a counter to it coming? Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that and if there is a counter what it would be. So. I don't know, uh, first things first, remember that the F-14B, it is basically the same as the F-14A. Uh, it doesn't change much, uh, the aircraft itself, the radar, the missiles, everything else, it's very, very similar. The main thing is the engines, right? Uh, it's something that would make the aircraft, and will make the aircraft in the game, a lot better in a dogfight, especially in, in acceleration, in climb, so I think the major thing that we need to worry about here is that before the B, the A variant in the game right now, it didn't have a chance to actually climb and actually use the A54s in the same level as the, for example, the MiG-29 and the um, Yak-41. And at some level as well, the F-16 can use their missiles. So. Of course, in a normal BVR engagement, I think there is two points to come out of this, that the engines are better. The first one is this point, that the BVR weapons in the game, obviously, as any other BVR weapon in real life or anything like that, they normally are limited for the performance of the aircraft that you are fighting and uh, th that you are just basically deploying the weapon with, right? So, for example, the MiG-29, it's an aircraft that it's amazing in the climb rate. So, it can actually climb a lot faster than an F-14, for example, to 10,000 meters. And launch an Air-27ER for, from a very respectable and a very, very good and perfect scenario for the missile to get a hit. Something that F-14 compared to the MiG-29, for example, it doesn't have that advantage. It takes a lot more time to actually climb. So... In a normal gameplay, the BVR weapon will be a major factor in this. Um, and uh, it, it will have an effect on this, you know. And the extra engine that you have on the B will make so that you can actually deploy the weapon better. So, I think AIM-54s will be better in F-14 due to that. Because you're going to have the possibilities to actually deploy them in a more perfect environment for the missile. Together with that... Of course, the AIM-54C is a better missile. It's not going to be a, like a whole nother, nother missile. It's just the same missile, but better, you know. It doesn't change too much, but still it's going to be better. But the other thing is that in the dogfight, specifically in the continuous turn or in a rate fight, you will see that the F-14B is a lot better than the F-14A. Uh, don't worry, we will do videos like uh, in dev server and the live server comparing the F-14A to the B. MiG-29 to the B, everything like that, we will cover it. But still, it's something that, you know, it's something to worth mentioning. So, it is going to be overall a better F-14. Does it mean that it's going to break the game? I don't think so. I think it's still a sluggish aircraft, a big aircraft that you need to learn how to use it. Because the instant turn will not be there. You will not be able to just pull a G out of nowhere. Because uh, if you're flying high, uh, very fast, you're going to have the wings uh, swept back and have to have time to actually lower your airspeed to open the wings and start turning. So it's not going to be like crazy different. I think it's just going to be more of what we have. So we go to the question. Is a counter needed to the F-14B? To be honest, with all of these things, I don't think we need one. It would be nice to see more variety of aircraft and new additions. Every addition is a cool addition, you know. Uh, in top tier right now, but I don't think it's needed. Um, I don't know. I feel like the F-14 will just help the F-14As and the F-16s that are already in the game to actually compete in the BVR department against the MiG-29 and the Yak-41. Both of them which are dominating the BVR if you use them correctly. Does it mean that the F-14A right now doesn't have a chance against it? Of course they do, but the B will have that advantage of performance of an aircraft. As I said, you will make an aircraft such as the... Uh, a missile such as the M54 have a lot more potential 
just due to the fact that you can climb faster, accelerate faster, and just overall have a better performance in a normal match. So, as I said, I don't think a counter is needed. It would be cool to see it, but I don't think it's needed. I think the Yak 41 will still be one of the top dogs in the BVR with its Raider, which is an amazing Raider. The MiG-29, even though it doesn't have the most amazing Raider ever, it's still a very competitive machine and it will still be, be, be very powerful even firing uh, after the R27ER from an F M54 being shot at from a, an F15B it still has the chance of actually outranging it and just basically the ER is so fast, the R27ER is so fast that it probably will hit it the F14 before so I, I do think that Yes, I would like to see some counters to it. It would be cool to see more additions to the game. Uh, the Americans already, I mean, they just had F-16. So the F-14B is not an aircraft that was added because of the need of a new aircraft. You know, it was just overall the right step in the, in the direction that they are going. Basically just adding a lot of fourth generations, right? So there isn't much of a reason not to add a counter but i don't think it's needed if they add it it's just going to be a counter that it can be added and it okay it's nothing too crazy then we come it comes to mind what counter would it be you know uh, most of the countries don't have a counter to the f14b to be added um to be honest i don't think there is any country that actually will receive something that will actually be a counter to the f14b the only addition that we can talk about would be something along the lines of an SU-27, an SU-33 maybe because it's a navalized version. But even talking about that, it wouldn't it doesn't make much sense, you know. We are already in a place that the MiG-29s and Yak 41s already kind of dominate the BVR. So why would you add another step to that direction, which is the SU-27, which is an aircraft that it's a lot better than the Yak-41 and the MiG-29 in BVR, right? So, I don't know, I, I really don't think a counter is coming. The perfect counter, in my opinion, uh, in the future would be the Su-33. I mean, it's a navalized version, fleet air defense aircraft. It would make a lot of sense, right? But, to be honest, um, the 14B, looking at what it's going to be, I don't think we need it. Uh, Everything else, I mean, sure, we can add another MiG-29 or something like that. But really, do you see another MiG-29 being added right now? I, I don't see it coming, right? I don't know. Uh, maybe, like, but I, I, I really do not see that. It's even maybe a, a possibility that they are going to add more aircraft, but going to other directions. Maybe add the interceptors, like an SU-15 or something lower in a rank than that. I don't know, maybe an SU-11 for the Soviets. Maybe finally the J8, um, a more mod modern J8 for the Chinese, something like that. But not a proper counter to the F-14B. I still think that the F-14B will come kind of alone. And there, it, it, it's pretty much going to be that and there is that. Okay? Um, but let me know in the comments what you think about it. Do you think the F-14B needs a counter or not? Do you think it's, it has a place in the game right now without a counter? Do you think the F-41 and the MiG-29 uh, are already the counter that the F-14B um, really wants, you know, to be countering? So let me know in the comments. And I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and bye guys. See you.